I'm a straight hair natural, but sometimes I like a little curl like this. I love how full, how voluminous. It's so easy and I use no heat. Alright you guys, let's get started. This is how I look every night whenever I use this heatless curl set. And I've already put it in as you can see because I want to show you guys the results. So this is the set that I use and I will put a link to it in the description below. It is so easy to use and I want to show you all how it looks after you take it out. We're going to be moving backwards a little bit. So all I'm doing is unraveling the scrunchie. The set comes with two scrunchies. So you wanna be very careful when you take these out because even though they are satin, you still don't wanna yank at your hair, break your hair off or any of that. So once you have both of your scrunchies out, I like to slowly just unravel the bottom. I learned that you want to really be careful and not messy with this step because you don't want your curls to really frizz up. And in my experience, if I want my hair to be really curly really quick, I don't have all night to set it. I like to dampen my hair just a little bit. And my hair also is blow dried. Normally, if you watch my channel, you know that I straighten my hair, flat iron it, but I didn't do that for this style. My hair is just blow dried right now. And it gives it such a full, beautiful, big my hair looks so big like this but it's just so full and I love it like this but you want to make sure you're unraveling it very gently if I do wear these overnight I normally do not have to put any water in my hair so that's how I do my heatless curls when I have a silk press I don't use water I just make sure I do it overnight because if you're trying to do it really quick during the day it won't curl without it being damp so just remember if you want a really quick curl say you have about two to six hours to let it set, I would definitely use water. But if you have time and you can sleep in this set, I highly recommend that because you don't even have to add any water to it. You're gonna wake up to beautiful curls. After you get to this point, you can already see how the curls just formed. And I love this on blow dried hair because it's just so full and it just looks so beautiful. So after I, have done that, I take this part and I slowly tug it away, tug it up, because I don't want to mess those curls up in the front and it just releases like that. And then after you take your curls out, you have these beautiful heatless curls. I mean, how easy is that? Now, since I've taken this out of my hair, I'm gonna show you all what is all in the kit. You get a pole like this, it reminds me of a large flexi rod because you can bend it, See, it bends different kind of ways and stays that way. And then it comes with two satin scrunchies and that's it. And what I like to do is I like to play with it, you know, separate your curls the way you want them to look. Be gentle because you don't want your hair to get too frizzy unless you just want that look. But you can just really play with your hair. And yeah. All right, you might be wondering, well, how do you install this set? Let's get into that. The first thing I do, say it's time for me to go to sleep and I am ready to just recurl my hair. I'm gonna take my rod right here and I'm going to place it right in the middle. You wanna put your part wherever you want it before you start. So normally I always do a middle part. So I put my rod right here in the center. You wanna make sure each of these sides is even, very, very important. You don't want it crooked like that because then you won't have enough pull to actually wrap your hair around. So make sure it's even. And I actually need to get a longer one of these since my hair is longer. If you have really long hair, I would suggest getting the extra long version of these. They do sell them. And I've seen these sets sold everywhere lately. I've seen them at Five and Below. I've seen them at where I got mine, Sephora. I've seen them at Dollar General. A lot of places are selling these sets. Now I'm not sure of the quality at those places, but the one I got from Sephora and the one that I'm going to link below for you that you can get on Amazon. I love it. You just put it right here in the middle. So you're going to need your own claw clip. And I like to use a small one about this size because this is going to clip your hair into place like this. So it doesn't move because you need to work on each side without this pole, you know, wavering. Then you're gonna take your hair 
in little sections, okay? The tighter you wrap your hair around this rod, the tighter your curls are going to be. So I like to, for example, how I got this look, I like to wrap it super tight around. I'm taking the hair, I'm pulling it under, and then while I'm pulling it under, I'm grabbing more hair at the same time. And I just like to make sure it's neat. Taking the hair, wrapping it around, going under, grabbing, but I'm grabbing more hair. It kind of reminds me of like French braiding in a way. When I first did this, it was a learning curve. So I really had to like get used to doing it. But once you get it, you can go so fast. So I'm just taking the hair, grabbing it. But as I'm grabbing it with this finger, I am grabbing more hair, wrapping it around. We're going around, taking this hand, going under, grabbing not only this part of my hair, but more hair. Pulling it under, making sure it's neat. And then you just continue to do that. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to make sure that I twist the end of my hair as much as I can, even if I have to stack it on top, because you want the ends of your hair to be curly. So I make sure that I'm just curling until I get to that very last bit of hair until I can't curl anymore. Like so. And after I do that, I like to bend it up just a little bit. Like this. I take my scrunchie and... I secure the bottom. I make sure it's really tight because I don't want this to come out at night, but that's how the bottom of it looks. And then you can kind of just bend it in the back. So as you can see here, this is how your hair is going to look after you've done it. And yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I would suggest that you take your time. I've noticed that the times that I've really, you know, taking time to do it right. My curls come out even prettier the next day. So let's do the other side in fast motion. And there you go. It's really simple to do. It does take a little bit of practice. So don't get frustrated if you get this kit in the first time you're like, oh, the more you do it, the more you'll get it. And you're going to be like, this is so simple. And it's such an easy way to do your hair without having to put heat on it constantly. It gives me Kind of like not too curly, but just like the perfect wave, like a beach wave curl. And all right, you all, here are the curls. Like I said, I like to wear mine just, you know, with the side part. You see how full and like luxurious your hair looks on blow dried hair? I love how it looks both on silk press and blow dried hair, but it's just so voluminous when you just blow dry. And you might be a girl that likes the side part, so you can just take it and play with it and move it over, you know, and just, oh. I love this like so it just depends on your preference how you like to wear your hair you just play with it it's so much fun such an easy way to do your hair all right you all and here's just the back of my hair how the curls look after doing this style it's so pretty just really flowy and bouncy and thick it gives like the perfect wave super cute all right, you all, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell for more videos. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.